Well, it started as a shopping cart fire. Businesses were left in the dark. They've since been forced out of their units, but they're still expected to pay rent. A News Now reporter Ryan Matthey shows us the potential legal beginnings at the Pecos Center in the East Valley. The grease traps in. Display case here. Display case. Register. Here. register. And Joyce Galaro says the rest will follow. Fortunately, I have to compete with Wingstop, but I mean, it does bring people in here. Lucino's Pizza has tossed operations down the street. If I could take my hood, I would. From its old location in the Pecos Center. Where fire crews responded to a blaze behind the building in April. That's where the businesses get their power. Officials determined the cause to be accidental, but have no witnesses or video to back that up. Businesses point to the nearby homeless population, and several signs in multiple store windows indicate a now ghost town. This is a job that's going to take easily five to six months because you have to draw the plans, you have to submit them, and you have to get approved for them. It's been over a month, and judging by this charred metal, this is the same shopping cart that fire officials said the fire began in before spreading to these circuit boards that left seven businesses in this plaza in a blackout. It's unclear when this will all be fixed. The businesses are not working, but the landlord is still asking for rent. The landlord is not providing what the landlord is required to provide in the lease. Angela Szymanski represents the pizza shop owner and has tried contacting his property manager for over a year, she says, adding that Collier International frequently ignores requests for more security behind the building. She's now fighting to get Scalaro out of his lease. He shared this rent request for the months of May and June, both months his store cannot operate during. Given their lack of responsiveness, I don't believe that we have a possible resolution other than to force them to respond in court. They take, 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 and then it takes a toll on you. And soon it could take them to court. Ryan Matthey, 8 News Now. Ryan, thanks. Today is the third day Ryan has attempted to contact their landlord for this story. He says on two occasions she has picked up uh, to then hang up on him.